Hey guys, Mariam here, and this is my perfect go-to summer makeup look that's perfect for the beach, for a pool party, for a picnic at the park, you name it. It's humidity proof, it's sun damage proof, and it is also utilizing one of my favorite products that's out on the market, my Ride or Die Airborean CC Cream that I love so much and have been using for almost four years now. So in this video, expect my take on the CC Cream in my go-to perfect summer makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this one thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and now let's get to this tutorial and review okay guys everything that I'm gonna be using in this video fits into this summer beach bag this is the one that I always stuff because I never have time to do my makeup when I'm actually going somewhere like the pool or the beach I usually end up doing it in the car and yesterday we went to the beach it wasn't sunny at all so my makeup bag stayed intact I actually didn't end up using any of these products with the exception of my Airborean CC cream this is the star player of today's video if you've been following me for a while then you've seen me talk about it you've seen me use it for the past I would say going on three almost four years now I actually discovered this product at the very 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 beginning when this was first introduced to Sephora and I worked with Airborne at the time on a campaign for it I believe I created some videos for Sephora and for other outlets but I have been in love with this product ever since discovering it and it's kind of my ride or die it's my staple for the summer it's my staple for vacation makeup for anything now if you're not familiar with this product what it is is a CC cream that goes on white but it's a magic changing foundation type of product which magically transforms to the color of your skin now there are three color categories the clear for lighter skin tones the golden for medium to tan skin tones which is the color that I use and then there's also caramel for deeper complexions there are tons of videos on this online so I suggest you watch them all basically when you start spreading this foundation it goes on white at first and then and it magically changes and starts matching your actual skin. Hello, did you see that? Did you catch that? There's honestly no other product out there like it on the market. It is, and I repeat, it is my number one favorite CC cream in the entire makeup sphere. Matter of fact, it's the only one that I use. Yes, it's better than the It Cosmetics CC cream. That one breaks me out. This one does not. No, this one does not need to be set with powders. Yes, it is is oily skin friendly yes it is pore friendly yes it's sensitive skin friendly and I also believe it's perfect for all skin types not just oily not just acne prone not porous not just sensitive but also for aging skin for mature skin for dry skin for normal skin clearly and obviously can you tell that I'm obsessed with this product because I am and the reason why I'm focusing on this one today is because well it's the summertime the weather is so humid right now a lot of us are doing activities such as the beach the pool and it's the perfect time to talk about it once again it has SPF 25 so it does a lot also as I've said before this is the golden shade although it does not say golden some of them say doré which is French for golden some of them say golden some of them don't say it at all just depending on the batch and the packaging but golden aka doré is the one that I use so if you are medium to tan this would be your color pick all right I'm talking a lot let's apply this makeup I'm gonna start today with this watermelon glow ultra Fine Mist from Glow Recipe. I've talked about it in my previous skincare favorites video. I love this one so much. Mm. This is just gonna give me a little bit of extra radiance and it's gonna help smooth this product on. I don't use any primers. I don't use any setting sprays. I don't seem to have the need for it. So instead of wasting all this product, I'm just gonna apply this to my face, spread the rest of it on my hand. And look, this hand is actually perfected compared to the other one, but it's the color of my skin. This is usually about as much as I apply. And then I like to use a dense brush. This one is from Hourglass from their Vanish Stick Foundation line. You could use any brush brush you could use your fingers but I find it to work much easier and better and more effectively with a brush So now this isn't going to necessarily cover all of your imperfections if you have large acne breakouts or heavier discoloration, but it will give you an overall perfected look. So I like to wear this in the summer or on those days where my skin is kind of looking its best. But as you can see here, it's not a full coverage foundation. So you could still see some of my breakouts, some of my acne scars and whatnot, but my skin is definitely a lot more smooth looking and it's a lot more even toned. For $44, 
colors. This coverage with broad spectrum SPF 25 sunscreen, I think that ain't bad. This is a magical product and I swear by it, you guys. I swear by it. I actually think I'm gonna add just a pinch more right here and I'm gonna stipple it in because stippling it and adding another coat will actually make some of my spots disappear. Before my summer makeup that's perfect for the beach or for the park, I still wanna play up my freckles and my natural skin texture, which although not perfect, it's beautiful and I embrace it. Next, I'm gonna use my NYX Wonder pencils in light and dark. I don't know where my medium went. So I'm gonna mix them and I'm gonna use them to spot conceal my little breakouts here. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of the light one right here under the eyes, just for a pinch of brightening. Now that actually might be a little bit too light, so I'm gonna need to fix that with my Tarte Shape Tape in medium. I'm gonna apply just a smidge and I'm gonna spread this with my fingers because I still want this to be a very easy and natural look. Now I am gonna use a little bit of this Kogendo face powder to set my under eye and to set the top of my lid and around the nose where I applied a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna use this tiny little beauty blender, pick up a little bit of product, like honestly the tiniest amount, and just press it here around the eye, around the eye socket, and just a smidge under the nose. Now this is the type of makeup that I usually do in under 10 minutes, but because I'm talking and because I'm reviewing products and I'm giving you guys tips as I'm going along, this is obviously taking longer, but this is something that is so easy, you could make it your routine and I bet you you could do it even quicker than me. If you want that glow for the summertime, and I definitely want that glow, I am a huge fan of these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I have them here in the smallest size, in rose gold and also in celestial. I'm gonna add a couple of drops to my points of interest. And I'm gonna use my fingertips just to gently diffuse this glow. Basically gonna spread this across my cheekbones, my temples, and the high points of my face because it looks so pretty when the sun hits it. However, because you already have the Airborean CC cream with the SPF coverage, then you're not really adding any heaviness. You will still get a tan if that is what you're going for, but you'll get the sun protection at the same time. Oh, I'm just wiping my fingertips on my hair. Next, onto the brows. I really like to keep it fairly simple for the brows. I've been using this The Brow Gal Instant Tinted Brow Gel. I believe this one is from BoxyCharm, and I really like it. It's got these microfibers in the formula that you barely see, but it definitely does add a little something, a little oomph to bare brows. So I just like to brush my brows up using this product. Very gently fill them in with my Herb Decay Brow Blade that I've been loving. This one is in the shade Dark Drapes. It's a marker on one side and a pencil liner on the other side. More often than not, I just use the marker side to fill in and add little hair strokes to my brows, just like that. Now I do this because my brows are already on the fuller side and because they're black, I can kind of get away with not filling them in. But if you have sparse brows or if you have finer brows, you could probably fill them in as well. I'm gonna skip the filling in part for today's look just because I don't really deem it to be necessary and it's leaving me pretty satisfied. I think this is natural, but a little bit more groomed, you know? This brow for some reason isn't as good as this brow, so I'm gonna need a little bit more brow hairs. Brow hairs. Honestly, when filling in my brows with this method, I don't even try to be neat. And the more imperfect it is, actually, the more perfect it looks. For the eyes, you know what I'm whipping out. I'm whipping out my Mirage Liquid Fairy Lights from my Pixie Collab, from my Day Lit Kit, now available at a Target near you. And if it's not yet available, it's because all Targets have a different shipment schedule, so you just have to be patient. Or you could always order online if you're impatient like me. Links are down below. Just gonna apply this to the center of my lid, spread it with my finger. Three reason why I'm doing this is because, well, I want to. And if I'm going to a pool party or if I'm going to the beach with my friends, I want to be a little extra, okay? Sue me. And this is so great. You could even apply this to your shoulders or on top of your cheekbones just for a little some some Cupid's bow. Why not? Wiping it back into my hair because that's just what I do. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is the Laura Mercier Lash Curler. And I find this one a little bit easier and a little bit more suitable for smaller eyes. Notice how flat it is compared to this very curved Lancome lash curler. Just gonna crimp these lashes. And then speaking of Lancome, I'm gonna use my Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. This is my current favorite waterproof mascara. I like it a lot because it doesn't clump, it doesn't smear, and it's great for the summer, for humid weather, for the beach, for the pool, for the park. And it still gives you that dramatic, voluminous lash look. Applying to the tips first, as I always do, so that it doesn't weigh down the curl. And then 
kind of just fanning out the lashes and making them look suitable to my eye shape. I'm also gonna apply some to my bottom lashes. You can skip this part if you want, but I like to add it because it gives me the illusion of a shadow and just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger and brighter. My Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk is my absolute fave. I like this one because it's very close to my natural lip color, so it's easy to overline and emphasize your lip shape with it without it looking too fake. And then for the lips, I usually have a couple of options for the summertime. If I'm going real simple and real easy and basic and everyday, I always go for my Maybelline Baby Lips. I love this one so much because it's this really cute pinky balm that matches and flatters all complexions, all ages, that glides on, but it just gives you that sort of wash of color that brightens up your face in a very youthful and believable way. However, if I want a little bit more glam, I usually go for a coral sort of gloss. Here are just a couple of options that I like. Strawberry Lemonade from Dominique Cosmetics, Wahine from NARS, Let's Flamingo from Too Faced, and Peach from Persona Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm stuck between these two just because it matches the strap of my bathing suit, so I'm gonna go for the NARS. I'm about to spray my hair just to make it look a little bit more beachy for the final look. Let's take a look and zoom in onto that skin. Honestly, the skin looks like I'm not wearing anything at all, but it is protected and it is perfected and it is glowing and it's looking natural and youthful and I'm loving it. This is the type of makeup that makes me feel like myself, like I'm not hiding behind a full mask of foundation. I'm still showing my freckles. I'm still playing with glitter, with glow with gloss, with full brows, and it makes me feel really good. I hope you guys like my routine. I hope you make it yours. I hope you check out my Airborean CC cream that I love so much. Wow, I just said it's mine. I just claimed this product as if I created it. I did not create it. I just totally and utterly stand by it. Pick it up if you haven't already. I recommend it. I love it. Linking everything down below. I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you so much, and while you're at it, do check out some of my other videos, because you know you're here, and you know you want to. Click on him. Bye, guys.